Um, but before we get into that, what is this? So, uh, Battle of Base 6, um, <laughs> Ilmac versus Big K, uh, one of my favorite rounds ever. I want you to talk about how you did this shit. <laughs> Third round versus Big K. I had a K. little fire beard right there, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah. I like your, uh, Illuminati getup, too. Shout out Control Sector, man. Yeah. My boy, uh, my boy Thunder Thief, a.k.a. Simple, had... It was all I was always rocking fucking control sector. They had super fire gear. Um That's a dope name too, I like that. Yeah. Um yeah, but let's go over this shit. This is gonna so I'm conning your Mac into this. I, I didn't tell him we were gonna do this. But this is gonna probably go on his channel. I've been trying to make him do this for a minute. I wanna go over classic rounds with him and have him break down how he came up with them. Why don't we start with this one? One of the most creative rounds ever in battle rap. Third round versus Big K. This battle in general is amazing, and if you guys haven't seen it, go run the fucking likes up because it's almost at a mil. It's at 906K. Let's get the 100K up to get this at one milli. It deserves it. It's one of the best battles ever. Big K in prime form. This is one of my favorite Big K battles, low key. You're not, like, not on some ego shit because I'm the one that's, <laughs> that is on the receiving end of one of the best Big Ks, I feel like, but he was going crazy this battle. Um, I mean, long story short, it's a situation where, uh, I was a fan of K and he was like on the come up and I suggested the battle and it was like, kind of met with like, it was really random. Like, I'm like, I feel like, you know, there was a few battles at that time, like Nest, like before this time between like Bender, Nestle, um, and a few others where I'm like, I want to do that battle because mm -hmm. it'll like test It'll make me really have to write. Yeah. And, um, you know, K, I had brought him out to the Northwest, uh, Grand Time Northwest, to battle 9DM. And so we we kicked it after and shit. We we're, we're pretty cool. We did a song, Know My Name, um, that, that I think is at the end of this battle or whatever. But uh, it's funny because, you know, I hit K either before or right after I talked to Gannick, but before, I think it was Gannick who I was talking to, but before they reached out, I was like, let me holler at him. And I was like, hey, like, I presented it, like, I, I want to, I suggested battling you on a, you know, King of the Dot event. I'd honestly just on some, like, pensman shit. Like, I feel like it'll make me have to step my shit up. Some of my best performances have been like that, Bender, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, all right, yeah, I mean, you know, if you want or whatever. But then like, <laughs> later, like all leading up and from what I kept hearing from people, he's like, is Fool trying to set me up or something and do some like personal, you know, like he's going to try to expose me or something or try to yeah, do yeah. some fake friend. <laughs> and he was hella skeptical. <laughs> like I was, But I really was just like, no, nah, you're hella fire. Yeah, I want to test my metal, you know? Yeah. But, uh. In the preparation, it was kind of hard to write, and this was right at, this is 2013, this is right after, not right after, I think it's like a year after Arsenal, after about, I know, it's my first battle after Arsenal, about a year, year and a half later, or whatever, and, uh, you know, if you don't know what happens in that battle, spoiler alert, it's one of my worst performances, period. I can I have never even watched the whole thing. It's so bad. Um, but so it was like that what was what was what on the line for me is like you can't have two terrible performances in a row. That's how you get rid of no. So it's like the bounce back type thing. But I had I actually had trouble writing for K. Um but leading up to the battle I watched, it's one of my favorite movies, I, I double back. There's like certain movies that I'll watch before battles. It Man is one of them. I'll, I'm, I'm never writing a lot or taking a battle that serious until I watch It Man. And it's like, oh shit, crack the knuckles and like write around or something, you know? Mm -hmm. But what I wrote, or what I watched was, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Top five, maybe ten. I said that backwards. Top ten, maybe five. Um, but it's Hero with Jet Li. Mm. It's such a fire movie. And like, I was trying to think of shit and angles for K. And then there's this scene in Hero. And I forget, it's been a few years since I've watched it actually. But uh, 
the main character, Jet Li's character, and this other warrior have this like crazy epic battle, essentially, while this like you know musician is like strumming this like instrument or whatever, bing, 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 and it's crazy epic, da 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 da, and then at the end of it, it's like it goes back to the player like the musician or whatever and then like the warriors open their eyes and it's like they're about to battle they're Mm. about to fight so it's like that the whole fight you just watched which you think is real is them playing the fight out in their mind and then Mm. they like open their eyes and then do the action go actually go to battle or whatever and i was like that yeah, I yeah. want to do that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And so this that's how this third round came to be. And low-key, if I remember correctly, it was the first round I wrote for the battle. Oh, wow, shit. So, and then it was just like, it. every now and then I'll write a round where it's like, I just, before I'm even done writing the other rounds, I just want to wrap that round over. Like, it's fun to wrap. Yeah. And this is, like, one of those rounds and one of my favorite. But that was the inspiration behind it was, like, a scene from Hero. I was like, I want to do that lyrically. Hell yeah. All right, let's get into it. Ilmax third versus Big K. Let me check so you guys don't fucking get mad at me. All right, the screen's up. You guys can see. It's all good. Good in the hood. Let me minimize this. Oh my god, I'm blind. All right. He did exactly what I thought he did. Oh, yeah, and then obviously it starts with the rebuttal. In the previous round, he would say, you a grown... Uh, shout out Z-Mad in the chat for reminding. He said, like, you a grown man the size of DJ from Roseanne. <laughs> you know, and, like, the crowd loved it. It was yeah. a hilarious bar. So oh, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, the this beginning okay, of this yeah, I about starts that. with, yeah. Damn, it's been a minute since I've seen this. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. Act like he's so damn hard. Motherfucker, you look like Roseanne's husband. <laughs> now, that's a Roseanne bar. <laughs> 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 he's like, yeah. It was funny too. Is the the whole battle? He's hella stone faced, and this this was like the first time in the battle that he like was like, all right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that was cool, <laughs> yeah, that was cool. But it's probably also like, damn, he didn't really spit. The first two rounds are over, and it's like, oh, he isn't doing some like yeah. crazy <laughs> exposing. Yeah. Like, when we were in the studio, like you yeah. bummed the Swisher from you know, or a Dutch from yeah, my boy totally. out one. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so he's probably like, okay, letting his guard yeah. down, fire rebuttal. He wrapped all of his like, thirds, too, and this is the last round of the battle also. So, like, all the all the pressure's off. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the first time I was yeah, cracked, cracked through the arm. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like, yeah. okay, I'll <laughs> smile at that. <laughs> yeah, Big K also had a, a big chip on his shoulder during this because I didn't put him in the fucking trailer. Oh, yeah. And that pissed right. him off. And, I, and I, I, I had a bar about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, my bad. You know, that is my bad. I, just, I like, I don't know. Nah, bro, we, pl- <laughs> <laughs> we playing that shit, man. Nah, but I Come like on. I like that it lit a fire under his ass, and he had, like, this, like, chip against everything in the room. He was, like, calling everybody fucking dorks and nerds in the crowd and shit. <laughs> yeah. and people were just like, ah, come on. Yeah, 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 and everyone loved it. Yeah, call us dorks. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Tell you what I thought he'd do. Act like he's so oh, damn. Oh, in this, when I was thinking of this rebuttal, up until my round started, I was panicking because I couldn't remember uh, Her Roseanne's husband's name. Husband's name. Oh, yeah. And I was like, God, I can't say Roseanne twice in the bar. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so I'm like, God, what is it? What is it? And I'm, yeah, I yeah, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't remember. What's, what's his name? Dan. I'm pretty Dan. sure. Oh yeah. man, it was so much better that you said this. I wouldn't have been like, you look like Dan. Yeah. Now that's you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, like dirtbag. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, it, it worked. That got you know yeah. the universe. Guy was like, no, 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 don't, 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 Smart. don't worry about the name. You know. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. Act like he's so damn hard, motherfucker. You look like Roseanne's husband. <laughs> now that's a Roseanne boy. Crazy. <laughs> It ain't the music, the fame, or the views. Don't blame the rules of the game you lose. Use it to train, it's fuel for the flame that grew. Review the tapes, do what I say to do, watch the 
the moves that you make improve. CK, I can step my game up while still doing the same for you. Salute when you see me. Tell them to let them horns blow. This is my second coming. My fourth coming was foretold. Man, that's one thing about not being uh, in Portland, like being out here, like no one else is gonna have blazer gear. But like that, I'm like, damn, that camo hat with the red blazer logo is fire. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I would definitely rock that. <laughs> Shout out to Jericho in the chat. Uh, there was one I missed, too. If I click this yeah, one, fuck yeah, it. Hey, and Daniel Barella Sr. We need an emoji of one of the times that Big K stared into the camera during the MOOC battle. <laughs> It'd be fire. Hey, oh, yeah, Blue, yeah, Blue Room uh, K would be a fire. We got uh, some big this is his... in the way, so. Come on. Appreciate it, blow. This is my second coming. Hold on. Let's get that. Oh, out of here. How do you do this? Yeah. And my fourth coming was foretold. This is his corpse cold on the floor, blood on the wall, swinging a sword slow through the torso of his torn soul. My hands reach out from the abyss, remove the crown under his kicks. His soul lifts from the ground up in the drifts, in the cloud cover remiss. He shouts, clutching the fist, but feels his mouth covered or stitched. He's now stuck in the glitch where sound doesn't exist. That shit is really fucking insane. It's like all perfect. It's like lines up so good. And it's like painting this crazy, like picture in the clouds. And like yeah. even zipping up his mouth. It's like the Matrix, like, you know, where his mouth gets removed. That was fucking he, He's really such well. a puncher that I, I wanted to do. I wanted, that was another, like, aside from the hero shit, part of my thinking was just like, I want to do something that he's for sure not going to do. Mm -hmm. that, like, I have to kind of. Not just do, try to out punch him. Like, I'm gonna get my fucking, I'm gonna get rock him, sock him, roboted if yeah. I try to just go punch for punch with K. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, well, I gotta do something that sets it apart, that kind of removes it from, you know, just a one to one scoring system. You know what I yeah, mean? And yeah, so I was yeah. like, I wanna just create create a crazy visuals and do all this shit. You know what I mean? That's so that was like my my thinking going into this round as well. You know, so dope. Oh, swinging the coming was foretold. This is his corpse cold on the floor, blood on the wall, swinging the sword slow through the torso of his torn soul. My hands reach out from the abyss, remove the crown under his kicks. His soul lifts from the ground up in the drifts, in the cloud cover remiss. He shouts, clutching the fist, but feels his mouth covered or stitched. He's now stuck in the glitch where sound doesn't exist. <laughs> Great crowd too, man. Uh, Oakland, such a good crowd. Yeah. They're like receptive, just mm -hmm. everything. They're like, we like it all. Yeah, you know? they're not just like, the fuck is this? Or like, where's yeah, the punch? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about dental hygiene. Yeah, boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or yeah. sound doesn't exist. <laughs> he can see though that he's marked. He can see though that he's marked for death. That revelation made him reload, even though our bars reflect the scene with Neo in the architect. We, we are. Scheme, you know, revelations yeah. reloaded. Mm. Um, they're like the sequel two and three of, of yeah. the Matrix or whatever, yeah. you know? And see, I'm giving hints like Neo and the architect, because this is all a fucking. Mm -hmm. It's all of Matrix. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all a facade. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was the original Andrew Tate, you know? <laughs> <laughs> connected like DARPANET by right a charge architect. We we are connected like DARPANET. I'll fly a charter jet into your thought bubble and park directly in front of the verse you about to start with next. This is this That's is classic. that was one of my favorite things. Uh, bars, but also it's hella prophetic because I said we are connected like DARPANET, and, which was the uh, it was the first internet. The first yeah, internet yeah. was like military and science, France, they're all talking. France made it, right? Uh, not Dar DARPA is the U.S. US? Navy, oh, yeah, where, yeah. Where, where, but where. but that was like how they shared all yeah, this info. Yeah, yeah, information. And but also DARPA, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is also the ones who designed or operate HARP. Oh, so yeah. it's actually this is prophetic because yeah. we are connected me yeah. and Kay yeah. you know he had the heart bar yeah like, the hook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like that's crazy. Uh, tw 10 years later you yeah. know what I mean Damn. That, that's really making that bar even truer yeah. we are connected yeah. like, through DARPA <laughs> yeah. really <laughs> you know
and park directly in front of the verse you about to start with next. This is this is plastic army men, the nuclear armament. Every dollar spent on defense in the heart project. Each bar heart in the heart project. Damn, I forgot. I had some heart bars here too. Come on. <laughs> Nuclear armament, every dollar spent on defense in the heart project. Each bar an armored mech, alarm detection, armed and set to target threats. Each word, a sharpened edge, scar his flesh, carved him through his heart's contents till my heart's content. <laughs> Rewind it first. Rewind it first. Instead of threatening, you're gonna die in verses. I reverse it. They're paying me not to kill you. Let your mind interpret. Soon as that contract was signed in cursive, your life was purchased. Hold on. Rewind it further. Before you lost this battle to a vet. Before you seen organic in the flesh, yelling rapper to my left. And did did you? purposely stand on that side too because you knew you're like okay well the, the, the he, that uh afterwards Gannick like you see how like he he puts his head down but he's like he's hella impressed and it, later he asked me like how did you because I yeah. feel like a no people didn't know he was gonna be there or something but beyond that he's like how did you know like that I would say rapper to my, like that he would be on my yeah. left and I'm like I'm like it works uh -huh. I'm like but it also works if I'm the one on the left it's one of those bars yeah, where it's like, yeah, yeah. It, when you don't yeah, think about yeah, it. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, what? True, that's true, crazy. True. But it works either way. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you know? he's introducing you. Oh, he's man, introducing me, point. man. You know? <laughs> such a good point. I'm like, how did you like switch no, sides? No, Organic like, had asked me that years ago, like after oh, wow. this too. Like, yeah. how did you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it works either way. Oh, man, but it that's seemed clever. That, yeah, that's yeah. super clever. This battle to a vet. Before you see an organic in the flesh, yelling rapper to my left. Before you seen organic in the flesh yelling rapper to my left, I accept that this matchup is a matter of respect. So you should feel honor when I decapitate your neck. Blood splashing on the steps. I, I remember like for okay. If I'm being fair, I'd be like, is it decapitate your neck though? <laughs> you know what I mean? The act of cutting someone at the neck is a decapitation, but you're really decapitating the head. But like, what's funny is I've seen an argument between fans like going back and forth <laughs> yeah. about that, yeah, yeah. and then like looked up held, like the etym etymology of decapitation <laughs> and everything, and like ended up justifying like, yeah, it works, yeah. <laughs> you know. But it's definitely one of those where I'm like, if I wrote it now, I'd be a little bit more of a stickler of like, you know. And did you just not think of it when you're writing? You're like decapitated. I, 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 there was a little, there was a little tinge of a thought, yeah, but yeah. It, I couldn't. I wanted to like paint that visual, totally. and I couldn't find the right words because happened. The ending uses the word head, yeah. and then you know all the words I had to work with. I was just like, I, I was like, ah, I'll come back and fix it, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it just stayed. You yeah. know what I mean? Word. So you should feel honored when I decapitate your neck Blood splashing on the steps and the cracks of the cement Until the avenue is wet, but wait That's when you snap out of it Wake up, drowning in the sweat Crabbing at your chest, gasping for a breath You look around you, but instead of a casket It's your bed, and you realize we haven't battled yet This all happened in your head Just imagine what's gonna happen at the actual event But yeah, expert or who who said that? Aunt, you said why why didn't you say head? It's cause I end it. The whole thing is head. I end it with head. head this all yeah. happened in your head. head. Yeah, Imagine right. what's gonna happen at the actual event. event you where know? you can't say head twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which now I might just do. Yeah. You know, I'm like, cares. I'm like, <laughs> so many people do that. Instead of being a lyrical accountant, yeah, do yeah. what I feel would be the best wording to, totally. really to get the point across. Yeah. But either way. Man. Uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite rounds ever, and one of my favorite things about this is like, and I talked about this <laughs> way back when I watched this drunk as fuck with fucking Roan Diz and Hollow, um, is that when you start like revealing what's going on in this round, people are like cluing in in the crowd what's going on, They're like, oh, 
oh, and there's like this people like gasping, and I, that's it. Like still kind of gives me chills. I think it's so fucking dope. You like did this like blindfold, like pulled the the cloth from uh, over their eyes at that moment. It's and I don't think anybody's done that in battle rap. Period. I've never seen something like that happen you know where people are like along the ride and they're like okay cool he's like painting this picture of like you know doing this like fantasy like brutally murdering him and then like you're taking them on a u-turn to this new path it's really fucking cool honestly one uh, i want to say clips a year or two later did like a eerily similar thing with yeah. like someone being in a coma or like smack or be like someone being in a coma or something um and but the reason uh, that I th think this works and has kind of stood the test of time for me and, and coming from me and my perspective is like all of the buildup isn't just there to like sound cool or be this abstract thing. It's, it's setting the suspense for like, what are you getting at? Yeah. The sound doesn't, it's now stuck in a glitch or sound doesn't exist. Yeah. And all this sort of like, um, over the top imagery is like acting almost as like this, you know, I, I wouldn't say Hitchcocky, and but like a acting as this suspense buildup. Like, mm. where is he going with yeah, this? Totally. Like, is it just more of kind of this imagery shit? Yeah. Like, is there gonna be a, f you know, something that drops to bring it all together? Yeah. And so, like, through doing that nuclear armament, the armament, arm, it's like, oh, this all sounds cool, but where is he going? Mm -hmm. And then, so at then, as you see it starting to come to fruition, it's like, oh, well, all that wild shit of like being stuck in a glitch or sound doesn't exist and all that, it's because he was in a fucking dream state or whatever. Pick, oh shit, like it's this big mm -hmm. reveal. I remember Caustic telling me, uh, he was like, I was in the crowd. This is Caustic. He was like, I was in the crowd, and I was, and when you say like, just imagine what's gonna happen, like the, and, and you know, ended it. He's like, I was like, <gasps> he goes, and I looked behind me. He goes, and there was a random fan staring right at me, and he goes, how did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was always one of my favorites. Of all. <laughs> so like, he was like, he was so serious. His eyes are like this, but. <laughs> There's certain things like, yeah, I think it hella translates on cam for sure. But like there was something in the building when, you know what I yeah. mean? Like it, that it, it was just yeah, different. I love it. Time, I, I love how you can hear people go, oh shit. Like they're getting clued into what's going on. That shit is so cool. It was wet, but wait, that's when you snap out of it. Wake up, drowning in the sweat, crapping at your chest, gasping for a breath. You look around you, but instead of a casket, it's your bed. And you realize we haven't battled yet. This all happened in your head just imagine what's going to happen at the actual event Tell him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's like all right yeah. <laughs> like he oh yeah, i think he said right there i think he got a class i think he got a class yeah i fucking love everything about this video uh, not you, even this battle. I was about to say, you went in from intro to outro. You know what's funny? This, uh, this intro got, uh, like, the music must have gotten... I, don't, I have no, what, I have no fucking idea claims. what's going on with King of the Dots channel. I've never seen any channel have this happen to them. Like, in the cortez Hollihan battle, the intro is just gone. And that music, I own. Like, I paid for it. I bought it. It's royalty-free. And they just flagged it and took the intro out of the video. So if you go to Cortez and Hollihan, that like cool intro that everyone's like, oh, it's so cinematic with the fucking icebergs and shit. Mm -hmm. It just, the battle just starts. And here, music's what? gone. Throughout the whole thing? It's just op the Oppenheimer quote. That's it. Damn, and the, yeah, it was all like yeah. suspenseful. Would not be the same. But this honestly is kind of cool with just the There's Oppenheimer just the... quote. You, do you, have I told you about what I copied this from? This is like, I just fucking copied this shit. This is from a Godzilla trailer. There's a there's a Godzilla Comic Con trailer that came out before Godzilla oh, 2014 yeah, I came do out, remember this. Yeah, and yeah. it was the Oppenheimer quote, and that's the first time I've even fucking heard that Oppenheimer quote, and they just used well, it. And, and the Opp Oppenheimer was quoting the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and and everything about this, I, I I copied, I copied the trailer and put this at the beginning because I liked that trailer so much. So it's not like I, it's like oh let's use this. Quote. It was a quick intro, but like it's so epic, like. 
few people laughed. The, like the whole way through. I remember when this dropped, cried. it was like its own Most movie. People were silent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the intro was fucking incredible. Yeah, all the all this B-roll that remember uh, Nelson went out and shot. And shot of Oakland where they like, drove Gita. around the bay and like made it look all fucking like dark and moody and shit. This was above Baker Beach. I used to live right above there. Um, but yeah, the intro yeah, sure. put some effort into, and then obviously the battle's is amazing it, yeah. between you guys. Nelson killed the filming. It was on that slider. I even love how it ends and then like you guys are centered and then you're all dapping it up. And then after that goes directly into a music video that you guys both did. That is yeah, it's the lyric it's just video. That the you lyric did, video. That yeah, you yeah, did. yeah. The song you guys did together. Mm -hmm. Um and it's just so there's nothing like that. There's no other battle video like that on the internet where it's like a classic and then afterwards shows you guys sharing a track. Like, I hate, this sounds so fucking gay, but it's so hip hop, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, you guys battle and then you're on a track together. It's yeah. like really fucking cool. On that track too, this will, uh, I, I had a different verse initially and because we recorded it before we battled. Like I said, when I brought 90M out, yeah. or brought him out to battle 90M, yeah. and that fool molly whopped me on that song. Like it was all cool at the night of, like, yeah, yeah, that's a vibe. And then afterwards was just like, okay, yeah, I kind of got, I, I need to rap a better verse, <laughs> you know, and I had to go back later and like yeah. spit a better verse, and I still think Kay went crazy on that. But. Yeah, so dope. Ben, it was funny because like I was done editing this video and you sent, you're like, here, I have a song we did. Oh yeah, I didn't was, even ask you. It was to supposed do it. to come out the next day. Yeah. It was supposed to come out tomorrow. Yeah, I think and we I had got, like single art or yeah, something. Yeah, and you were like, hey, like, you yeah. put this at the end. And I was like, I'm going to make a lyric video to this. And you're like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I mean. <laughs> and I did that lyric video in a night. Yeah. Um, and so I like the way it turns out. Uh, but yeah, this shit's fucking amazing. And then I kind of did it with Big K and Head Ice, but I wish people would do that more. Mm hmm. It's a, it's cool a time, movie man. front to back, man. But yeah, go check it out. Big K, Omac, let's get this to a mill. Deserves it. Um, we're going to be doing more of these little videos, too, with Illimac, where he goes over my favorite rounds from him. Maybe he can give his input to what he likes, but I think it would be interesting to hear how his artistic mind works and how he put these together. Appreciate it. Yeah, patreon.com slash TV. We'll throw this up there. Yeah.